வணக்கம் பேனூஸ் நேர்களே அந்த நேச்சர் என்தூசியாஸில் ஒரு சூப்பர் ஸ்டார் நம்ம சென்னையில் இருக்கார் அப்படின்னா இஸ் மிஸ்டர் பீட்டர் வேன் கேட் என்னடா ஏதோ ஃபாரின் கம்பெனி சட்ட பேர் மாதிரி இருக்குது அப்படின்றீங்களா ஆல் பார்க்க மட்டும் தான் ஃபாரின் பட் இஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் டு திங்க் லைக் இன் இண்டியன் எவர் சின்ஸ் இ கேம் இன் டு தி கண்ட்ரி தேங்க் யூ ஸோ மச் ஃபார் யர் டைம் மிஸ்டர் பீட்டர் ஐ வாஸ் ஜஸ்ட் டெலிங் தேம் தட் யூ யூ லைக் திஸ் டெமி காட் ஆஃப் அ நேச்சர் என்தூசியாஸ் யூ ஜஸ்ட் டேக் பீப்புள் across the state and ctc has been gaining momentum and familiarity among nature enthusiasts for for more yeah. than 3 4 years easily but you've been doing it for a really long time yeah. so thank you so much for your time firstly yeah, for sure. giving us some time out of your very busy schedule <laughs> so your contribution uh, the post chennai relief calamity has been amazing the things that the government needs to do you've been doing it you had split the uh, chennai into three different four different parts and which place needs what yeah. i myself a tamilian so called who lives in chennai had no clue that chennai had these many places yeah. firstly let's come to this what has the calamity done to the city well so basically i mean uh, it took a while for the whole thing to sink in right we have been receiving rains before so we started noticing that on tuesday afternoon evening that some of the roads got blocked i was personally outside somewhere i was not able to get back to palawakam because i tried all possibilities not able to get back even uh, the mount road on gindi was blocked so i had to sleep uh, the night in my car that uh, day actually so next morning i came home and i heard that there were various neighborhoods around chennai completely submerged So the first thing that I did is I took some of those swimming tubes over there those lorry tubes and I made some floats and went into some submerged areas uh, where the water level was more than above 10 feet and I uh, started kind of getting to people who uh, who were stuck on the rooftop of the houses uh, first floor to kind of uh, provide immediate relief some water some food as well as take out people who who were like some medical condition pregnant women some children some uh, elder people back to the main road so they can hey, be more safe uh, at that moment we didn't know whether the situation was going to get worse uh, whether more rain would come whether the water level would even go up so we didn't want to take risk and and within two first two days we took out some 130 people who were trapped in their houses uh, around the outskirts of the Palikanai lake which had uh, water level had risen significantly so that was the initial kind of focus After that the uh, relief started kind of coming into the city people from Bangalore uh, Kerala Coimbatore everywhere in Andhra a lot of trucks with materials were coming in and then like you were explaining in the beginning we saw that indeed there was too much relief coming to the same known places people are familiar with Velachery other specific places in the city which uh, were getting more and a lot of people in the lesser known areas the outskirts of the city were not actually getting anything so we put up a big map of chennai which we kind of divided in 120 plus different sub areas we sent out hundreds of volunteers to scout those areas say what what is exactly happening there how much is the impact of the flooding has relief reached of the government or any ngo and if there was a real need we would uh, kind of map mark the place on the map and then our ctc who is doing a lot of relief as well as any other ngo could actually reach out to the place and and provide relief how did ctc happen chennai trekking club wherever you go they there for the fact that that's like yeah. a that's like a you know tagline you give for a product ctc has explored more number of places possibly than the archaeological department i believe <laughs> so how did ctc happen you're the founder of yeah, such so a the ctc short for chennai trekking club actually started in 2007 some 7 8 years ago so at that moment of time we were actually uh, going to specific places for hiking like uh, known places like jinji fort tala waterfalls eh, like places where which are a bit touristical so and we did this with a group of friends from the office on a regular basis uh, but over time actually i wanted to explore more and more places on a regular like every weekly basis so i um, eh, wanted to have company basically to join me on those outdoor uh, hiking exp- expeditions so i set up a website chennai trekking club where we published some photos some experience of 10 trips we had done and i uh, was reaching out actually to people to kind of eh, who were interested to join so and then within a couple of months we were going out almost every weekend with 20 30 people a lot of people I, because chennai is a bit of a silent place not much was happening so ctc was one of these places where people could go to 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 go to various places um so and then like very soon uh we started say, using google maps to kind of uh, look at the terrain the topography of different mountain ranges and jungles and go to places when nobody has gone before we started making our own trails go straight through the wilderness 
and we discovered a lot of amazing places in, in the four southern states uh, where we dis discovered like beautiful ancient uh, remains of like some British jeep tracks, some kingdoms uh, and stuff uh, which nobody has found discovered before. CTC has al also been actively involved in the uh, city cleanup and specifically the beach areas. So is that making a dent, the, the one that you actually wanted to, you know, there is a change happening? Yeah, so I mean, uh, we have been doing this annual uh, major Chennai coastal cleanup for like almost six years now. So, and uh, it's not really meant as a cleanup, it's more like uh, a big awareness movement. So, we want to involve maximum people like this year in June. It always happens around uh, World Environment Day. So, this year we involved some 5,000 people. We cleaned oh up some 30 God. tons of garbage uh, from the beaches, like. 20 kilometer stretch from Marina all the way to Injambakam and we also did a lot of segregation. We exposed people to segregating reusable materials from waste that, that goes to the Palikanai dump yard to, to kind of get people more aware of eh, that they should start segregating also at home like wet and dry waste which can reduce a lot of the garbage footprint of the city. So over the years yeah we have seen some improvements. Some beaches have become very clean uh, where people really got the message and uh, of course some beaches like Marina for example, where everyone, a lot of tourists from Alt Station also come. So that is difficult, that those places remain uh, dirty. But I'm sure eh, with the involvement of 5,000 people and those people talking to colleagues, friends, um, and exposing a lot of photos also on the social media, so that reach out to hundreds of thousands of people, we definitely made a difference to kind of bring a change in the mindset of the people. Look, so much crap eh, which w gets washed through the rivers from the city and back up to the beaches. So there's something wrong there. We need to we need to change, and uh, the change has to change uh, has to start from within us. So we have to start mainly segregating. Basically, we need to see what is can be reused: paper, plastics, glasses. Uh, give that to the local kadiwalas, and then uh, even the wet garbage can easily be composted in your own garden. So like that, you can actually reduce almost 90 percent of the garbage that mm. that gets in uh, that currently spoils the environment near uh, the Palikanai Marsh. You've always been here for like 18 years. What's been happening to the city? Changes that you've witnessed? <laughs> uh, a couple of things. I mean, first of all, Chennai used to be a very peaceful place. When I came here 17, 18 years ago, I just saw one ambassador, one buffalo in the middle of the city, very peaceful roads. But then with all the IT uh, coming in, right, a lot of employment, a lot of people from villages coming to the city. The city has become quite crowded, uh, chaotic, a lot of vehicles, a lot of pollution. And also the consumerism, which was not there to that extent. All the supermarkets and stuff have caused a lot of uh, pollution. You can see the, the garbage dump near Palikanai. Definitely there has been some environmental impact in, uh, of the city. Even the recent floods that we're talking about has largely to do with like encroachment onto low-lying uh, areas, water bodies at the sides of the rivers. Uh, reducing the capacity of the water to actually drain to the sea and, and causing a lot of flooding. Uh, so definitely there have been some uh, kind of environmental uh, impacts with the ever-growing city in terms of water use, real estate and then also uh, I mean pollution. Uh. What more is going to happen to the city if we have a flood like this coming again on us? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there has to be better planning, right? Better uh, urban planning in the sense that we should kind of... Uh, uh, Chennai is actually ba built on a food plains, right? So we're actually living in a, in a place where every 10 years, uh, we have seen it happening in 2005, 95, that uh, flooding happens. So we are building on, on the basis of lakes. We are uh, blocking waterways. So I think we need to be much more uh, having a bu better building kind of plan which is in sync with nature so that we don't block uh, water passages, that we uh, keep sufficient bandwidth around the Adya River and the Kuom River to actually drain the water to the sea. And then also I think what happened this time is with the Chembram Bakam Lake eh, where instead of kind of slowly releasing water that water was suddenly released in large quantities. So better planning of, of water management is, is definitely required if we want to avoid this because with global 
climate changes and stuff. I think this is this cycle could actually repeat on a more regular basis. It might not take 10 years again before the next uh, heavy rain and, and, and water flooding happens. Having grown up in a country like Belgium, known for architecture, known for uh, economy, known for planning, how do you see the difference? You've been in India for 18 years. What is that thing that India requires right now? to go to the standard uh, of another well, country. Well, I mean, Europe and Belgium have also gone through their growing pains. We also had the same thing, right? That's uh, more consumerism and stuff and more pollution. So I, there I've seen some reports that over 15 years also from a lot of garbage that is generated by the population that you do all co kinds of initiatives, mostly as a regional level, at like a community level, hey, through composting, to recycling, that uh, garbage actually had been reduced over 15 years from 90% to some 2%. So I think we also came from a bad situation to, to a much more sustainable, environmentally sustainable situation with growing cities over there. So definitely here also there has to be some kind of uh, willpower to, to change and, and it has to change from the people. We cannot say the government has to do everything. I think it's the government and the people who have to show their best side. And, and when we talk about the environment, it has to happen actually on a regional level. I think we should not all throw the garbage in one place. Every community should take ownership of their natural resources, whether it's in the waste generated, whether it's the water management, and urban planning, everything should happen more at a smaller regional kind of level, I believe, to, to make it successful. What, what is the aftermath of the flood? What has happened to the city? What has CTC been doing and what is the need of the heart? Yeah, so I mean after the initial days of, of rescue where the water level was very high uh, for some three, four, five days depending on the localities so where it, we kind of took people out from their stranded homes to the main roads. Then we went to a phase, uh, the next couple of days it went to immediate relief so giving some immediate neat items, food, water, blankets. Uh, a lot of people staying on the ground floor, their houses were flooded for several days so they lost everything. We have been distributing these relief kits to uh, affected villages, especially focusing on the poor, where uh, a relief kit actually consists of all the household items that allows a family to continue for at least one or two weeks. Now we are in, in the third phase where we have started cleaning the city. So last Sunday we focused on around eight, eight areas with some thousand volunteers. It was an initiative which was collaborated between the Chennai Trekking Club and the Chennai Runners, where uh, hey, we picked out Vela Cherry, Ashok, Pillar, Ananagar, Kotarpuram was there, uh, Mogaper, specific areas where we had a lot of members of our groups uh, residing and we kind of took ownership of the streets, cleaned up a lot of garbage. We worked together with uh, guys from Caterpillar who have the heavy equipment, the corporation to pick up the garbage to do like a big clean sweep of the city. Uh, so that I think is the next priority, make the city clean again, eh? that's, uh, you don't allow diseases and, and stuff to break out. Next one uh, in time would be rehabilitation where we basically, uh, so that's beyond flooding actually, some areas, some villages have been badly impacted in terms of collateral damage. So houses, homes, huts being destroyed, again mostly places uh, close to rivers where the water flow was very strong has wiped out a lot of uh, homes. Uh, so there we are focusing more on Kudalore, which was more badly hit by Chennai. And uh, we currently, last Saturday, we visited, scouted some 80 villages and adopted uh, one or two specific places where some 100 plus homes were destroyed. So we're currently kind of set up a CTC relief fund where people can donate NGOs, individuals, and where we will use the funds actually to rebuild homes of uh, people so they can get, back, can get back to their normal livelihoods. I bet you get nothing out of this other than the joy of giving, right? Yeah, so CTC I mean, uh, so money. we are a non-profit volunteer based organization. We just do it to help our fellow citizens and, and we see there is a need. We see that it takes a little bit of time for the government to organize itself, to start, <laughs> to start, get uh, started. So meanwhile, I've seen a lot of good work by other NGOs, also individuals, people who were there alongside me. Uh, rescuing people in the flooded streets. You saw so much activity in the city, uh, people cooking together, whole apartments, community kitchens, cooking food, getting it to places. So, I mean, the whole situation has brought, brought out a lot of good stuff in, in the city. A lot of people ro ro rise to the occasion and, and jumped in, in in the relief while the government kind of was thinking what to do at that moment. So, 
it was a really nice thing to see. Yeah. The Indian nasi knew what do you prefer eating yeah. and the places. You're so familiar, you know Chennai. Oh, I mean, I made Chennai my home. I decided to stay here for the rest of my life because I like the place. I love the people. I love the uh, the places eh? from a nature enthusiast. There's so many places around city within three, four hours, which, which are amazing to, to visit. Uh, we, as you know, we go trekking, we do hill running, we do mountain biking. So a lot of amazing places around the city, actually. Chennai is blessed in that way. And uh, I, I don't feel like going back anymore home. I've kind of <laughs> forgotten about Belgium a little bit, and, and this is now my my place, my home. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's the Indian life, the Desi life that you get yeah. to live. Yeah, indeed. I mean, I have so many friends. I mean, I also don't see foreigners, Indians. For me, it's all people. <laughs> and Lovely. I mean, I have hundreds and thousands of, of people here that, that you get. Uh, we do so many programs, outdoor programs every weekend. Now we started on weekdays doing cleanups, doing treks. So you get to meet hundreds of people every week. And, and there are a lot of wonderful guys here to, to do stuff together with. What's the future? What, what are we going towards? What? Be it CTC, be it Chennai, be it humanity, be it yeah. garbage, be it anything. Where are we heading towards? Yeah, I mean, from CTC specifically, I, I'm very helpful. So we, our focus was more on sports, outdoors. We did quite a bit of stuff for environment. We have been planting a lot of trees and stuff. But with this sick calamity happening recently, I really saw a lot of hundreds of people from our group rising to the occasion and doing a lot of uh, beautiful relief work. So I want to get this large organization of 26,000 people much more socially engaged in whatever say, initiatives say, we can do to make the city also a better place uh, to live in. Uh, so that's one of, of the, the things that I want to work on to get more, more, much, and more much more socially active basically. Uh, not just only educating people into sports, uh, getting uh, more people into running, cycling and swimming, but also more into, uh, I mean, meaningful initiatives to, to kind of raise this city to like a better level, whether it's environment, whether it's garbage management, whether it's sustainable living and, and those kind of uh, places. Lovely. Keep, keep inspiring us, keep supporting us and hope to see you soon. And uh, we would like to collaborate with you and help you as much as we oh. can. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much, Mr. Peter. Nice talking to you. I would like to appeal to everyone, every individual of the city to, to help us in keeping the city clean. I think we should not uh, rely on the corporation, on the government to come and, and, and really uh, take the ownership of cleanliness of the city. It starts from all of us within. I would request every person to take a little bit of ownership of, of your own garbage and waste so that we can uh, keep the city clean and make it a better and more healthy uh, place to live in. Thank you.